So you want to make this paper stop motion effect. Don't worry, I'll teach you how to make it. <laughs> you may be wondering why we're outside or what any of this has to do with creating this paint paper texture effect. Well, the answer is... Yep, that 27 million degree ball of gas. We're gonna be painting today, like real painting, paint, brush, and paper. So I'm gonna be sitting outside and painting so we can have our effect dry faster. That's all. <laughs> but first, we're gonna need some footage and some supplies. Come on, let's go. It's this way. The day is hot, a little too hot, but I've always found a liking to creating unique arts and crafts like projects on these type of days. In order to create this effect, we must first gather our materials. Don't worry, I will go over a full list of supplies in a brief moment. The required resources for the effect are listed as follows. 16 fluid ounce bottle of apple barrel white paint, four and a half fluid ounces of water in a cup, non-reusable, one plastic plate, one rounded thin brush with polyester bristles, and of course, not to forget, the cardstock paper. Moving on to the painting. Follow the next few steps accordingly. Line the cardstock paper and proceed to folding in halves with a nice crease in the middle as if it were a small children's book. No, 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 just kidding. Take one page of your papers and turn it vertically. Then grab your paint and shake and lightly pour a small amount onto your painting dish. Lightly dap the brush, but not too much to avoid soaking the paper. Then draw your design on the first half of your folded paper. You will need to draw whatever animation you choose at least four times to get an optimal result. Once you have painted the first side, proceed to taking the papers back outside in the sun to dry. Oh no, one has gotten blown away in the wind. It's okay, the wet paper texturing will add to the effect. Set it out to dry once more. Once the first side is dried, go back and repaint the remaining two frames on the other side of the paper and set it out to dry once again. Damn it, it's got blown into the pool again. Today we'll just be using Photoshop and Premiere Pro to make this effect. So let's go ahead and hop into the computer. Open Photoshop, open a new file. Enter the following height and width dimensions to create a 4K video file and we're going to name this Paint Preset. Then you're gonna drag and import your camera files from your photos and you're just gonna hit OK if you shot them in raw footage. Hold Shift and select both of your layers and then hit Command T to scale and rotate. We're gonna scale and rotate this so that we can create a nice flat image that covers the entire scene. Then what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate each of these layers by hitting Command D and then hitting OK and hitting Command D and hitting OK. And we are going to drag the top layer to the bottom, whatever the bottom layer of that photo is that you took. Do the same for the bottom. Just drag to the bottom. You may have to scale and rotate and adjust. Click on the adjustment layers, create a brightness and contrast, and we're just going to increase the brightness a bunch and the contrast all the way down. Once again, click on the adjustment layers and we're going to create a threshold. Drag the threshold scale all the way to the right until you get a nice isolated paint drawing. Click on the adjustment layer for a third time and you're going to click an exposure tab. Adjust the exposure until you get a nice paint scan effect. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit file, export, and then just name each layer in a numbered format. I'm gonna name this one paint preset one and so forth. Turn off the visibility of each top layer and then adjust accordingly. Some photos might be overexposed, so you might have to adjust some of your adjustment layers. Once done, hit File, Export. Repeat this process until you export all of your layers. Once done, go into Adobe Premiere Pro and you're gonna create a new project. Now go ahead and import your paint scan pictures and drag them into the timeline. Select all of these and you're going to right click them and hit the speed duration. We're going to change the speed duration from four seconds or whatever the variable input is to about 0.2 seconds each. And now what you're gonna do is hit sequence and close gap. And now you're gonna have a really fast paint animation effect. You can go ahead and hold option or alt to duplicate this as many times as you would like for as many times as you want the effect to repeat itself. If you would like to slow down the speed, you can just of course hit right click it and then adjust the speed and duration. Export the result and overlay on any footage you would like to get this nice paint effect. Here is the final result. 